wonders and worries of nanotechnology. Brought to you by science. Ah, nanotechnology, the science of the super small. Here, Denny is working on a new idea. Wow, Denny, what you got cooking in here? Think fast. Hey, uranium from your old atomic energy lab. Unreal. But really, what's the dealio with all of this stuff? Nothing but a surefire way to make me filthy rich. It's practically made in the shade, sis. And what's with the Lincoln logs? Those are for when I get bored. All right, Buster. Give me the word from the bird. Well, I figure that if scientists can improve old stuff and make cool new stuff by messing with atoms and molecules, then so can I. And how do you plan to do that? Well, with my atomic energy lab. And what are you going to make that nanoscientists haven't already thought of? Well, President Truman said that we're going to run out of fuel in the future, so we should look into solar energy. And now, President Eisenhower isn't doing anything about it. Don't get me wrong, I like Ike, you like Ike, everybody likes Ike. You like Ike, I like Ike, everybody likes Ike for president. But he's not thinking ahead. Sounds like Denny here has a bright career in politics ahead of him. Mindy too. <laughs> After all, anything can happen in the future. Like I said, what are you going to make that nanoscientists haven't already thought of? Geez, you sound like a broken record. I'm going to make solar power. And because I'll be using super small nanotechnology, I won't need to buy as much supplies, so I'll spend less up front. And then I'll sell it to people for tons of money. What about people that can't afford to pay you tons of money? There are starving people in China. Don't they deserve access to affordable solar energy too? If they have to choose between that and food, they'll probably choose food. Starving people in China. You sound like mom at the dinner table. Well, somebody has to think about other people besides themselves. And obviously, it isn't going to be the men. With nanotechnology, we need to consider all sorts of issues. Issues that affect not only ourselves, but issues that also affect people who may not know they're being affected. We need to make sure that the people that need help get it. And what about the mess you'll make creating all these nano solar doodads? Is that stuff even safe? Where are you going to put all the leftover garbage? Well, I hadn't even thought about that. Sometimes I'm such a goof. I wish we could just send it all to the moon and be done with it. how to send anything to the moon. Boy, you really have lost your marbles, haven't you? I guess I did go kind of bonkers. Thanks for helping me, Mindy. You sure are on the stick. Oh, Denny, it's all right. We just need to keep asking questions is all. Hey, think fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Mindy and Denny sure are a pair. Just remember, not knowing the answers or even the questions to ask about nanotechnology and its risks and benefits doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means you're not yet informed. And as always, your local science museums will be happy to help you search for more answers.